telegraphing impressive threats today on Dungeons and Taverns. Hi, I'm Saul Sunforge. I've been a DM for 20 years, and on this channel, it's my intention to go ahead and provide that experience to you as a player or as somebody who makes your sessions daily or weekly. I provide Dungeons and Dragons specific as well as system agnostic hints and tips in order to help you up your play experience. I also host a campaign on this channel called The Dirty 20, which every two weeks we upload about a three to five hour session for you to watch. I have about 30 or so of the past episodes uploaded as well as the current episodes. And eventually I'm gonna go ahead and link the two with the middle episodes so you can see where they were, where they're at now, and how they got there. I break up all the tabletop videos with some videos of me playing PC games, most of which are heavily curated, edited half hour videos. I currently don't promote my channel, so consider a subscribe, and if you know somebody who might like the channel, share the information along with them. If you have any tabletop questions and would like it answered by a panel of players and dungeon masters with over 70 years of experience, go ahead and submit them in any video or in the Discord or on my Twitter, which the information is below in the About Me section. And now on to the video. It is of my experience that dungeon masters, and I'm guilty of this sometimes too, cheat players in a way um, the descriptions of some of the enemies that they give isn't ample enough for what I feel for the players to make uh, a great decision sometimes and they can feel cheated you know if an enemy is very colossally large you know allow the players to see that enemy from further away um, you know to accentuate the size of the enemy you know if the enemy, for instance, is a dragon or something like that of that size or larger, you know, describe it poking out through the trees. So the party gets an ample idea in their head on actually how massive the enemy that they're fighting is going to be. And if the enemy is a dragon or some type of winged beast, you know, describe how its wings are flapping in the wind or how it temporarily blots out the sunlight. And then if there's a massive attack incoming or charging up, describe that entire process. If you use more descriptive adjectives, it will key your players into more details without necessarily having to do any additional work to your campaign. And as a little added bonus, don't be afraid to pit large creatures against each other. All of these creatures don't necessarily have to only have the party members as their enemies because that's not realistic so maybe when the party's for instance doing world travel or in a dungeon you can have you can have conflicts going on already that the party isn't even part of necessarily but they it potentially could become part of that and I'll, I'll give you a few more uh, any type of giant you know describe its plodding footsteps you know its booming voice Maybe for a tiny little fairy, you, you describe it more delicately. You know, the, the beating of its wings, you know, uh, the humming of a tune. For elementals, you can describe the insane maelstrom of elements broiling around and composing their body. Their footsteps leaving little footprints of whatever element they're made of. But just like deadly encounter after deadly encounter, you don't want to stack these impressive adjectives over and over and over because then the players will tune out but if you add them in occasionally then the players are more prone to listen in on what's going on the more impressive the enemy the more adjectives you should use in order for the players to be able to gauge uh, the strength level of these enemies based on just your words alone so very perceptive players will key in on these things and then make better decisions for the character. Perhaps there's enemies that they wouldn't attack uh, that, you know, based on your description, uh, that you saved the party from a potential TPK uh, because you gave an ample enough description. Well, it's a short video. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, the videos are going to start coming back a little bit more normal. I had car problems uh, right now. It's in the shop. The engine uh, failed while I was door dashing and uh fix you know put a lot of money into it and things like that but uh you know once that problem wraps up then you'll start seeing me back to normal pace so i'm still and i'm still working on resnium in the background you know i'll get a, together you know a play test group here soon 
and then I'll demonstrate it all for everybody uh, before it's even up for any type of crowdfunding or purchase or anything like that. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Yep. Have yourselves a great day. Bye. Bye. Oh, Callie said bye too.